Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. Yes, I know it is international break, so you will tell me Beppe, what will we speak about? Because Juventus is not playing, first of all, it's not true. Because Juventus is playing today, Juventus Lyon Champions League. Yes, I know it's not the first team, it's the women team, but today we have to be there. All there to support the Juventus women team, I will be on the Juventus YouTube channel to do a pre-game and watch along, so be there if you want to support our ladies, they will have a... Uh, to, they will need our support, all our support, because they are playing versus Lyon, one of the strongest women team on earth. And what we will speak about today is, of course, a name that yesterday in the video, we were actually speaking about it as a crazy idea, a dream, something that we couldn't even tr speak too much about it because it was a crazy idea. Yes, we will speak about Mo Salah. Mo Salah, that is in uh, all the front pages. We really start speaking about him even with double pages. We will speak about Mo Salah to Juventus, but also Paolo Dybala, Paolo Dybala finishing the season at Juventus, how will he finish, but also where will he go in the next season, because of course Paolo Dybala, we are really interested to see, because we are saying no to Inter, guys, these news, Mercato, a lot of Mercato news, new financial fair play rules, all these things in the video, after that you subscribe to the channel, maximum of like, notification ring on, if you did one, two, three, after the intro we start. If I'm opening Gazzetta dello Sport, what do I see or what do you see? You see Olivier Giroud with a red beard and he's saying Scudetto arriviamo, Scudetto we are coming. Who cares about Olivier? Who cares about Olivier when you see Olivier, I see Salah. There, on the wing, on the wing, on the side of the paper it's written Juve Salah, ecco perché si può sognare. Juve Salah here, that's why you can dream, so if yesterday we were saying don't dream too much, don't pronounce too loudly the word of Salah, because maybe you will be mocked, today Gazzetta dello Sport is saying here are the reasons why you can dream, why can we dream, I want to know, because Gazzetta they continue on Twitter saying Juve there is already a kind of interest for Salah, Juventus is trying to approach Liverpool, the agents, the entourage with some question about Salah, is it possible, not possible, Gazzetta is saying it will be really a difficult one, but, 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 what but, One Football is also reporting the news, I told you, everyone is speaking about Salah, IFTV is putting already some graphics, Emil, our friend MPG, Juve Edits is putting some graphics, but One Football is saying Juventus is launching a massive Massive contract package for Liverpool star Salah. Double paging Gazzetta dello Sport, I already told you. Momo no rinnova. Momo is not renewing with Liverpool. Salah. Pazza idea Juve, Salah, crazy idea Juve, yes it is a crazy idea, because we know Juventus is having a difficult moment in Champions League, we just not renewed Paolo Dybala, some people are saying, Beppe, we don't have the money for Salah, we don't even have the money for Dybala, eh no, eh no, a decision was made on Dybala, it's not about money or not money, I can reassure you, the money is there, if we want to open the wallet, there is the money with Salah, I can reassure you on that one, but why is uh, Juventus uh, interested in Salah? Because he's not renewing with Liverpool. He's earning at the moment 11 million net. Eh, a lot, especially when uh, uh, some of us are saying Vlaovic 7.5 million is the max contract together with the league of Juventus. We don't want to go over that. Eh, if we go for Salah, guys, we will have to go over it. And there's, there is a possibility, especially with the legislation rules, the tax rules in Italy, there is a possibility. Reds that try to negotiate with Salah that he's having his most productive season in terms of goals at Liverpool, eh, guys, uh, they are further away, further away, la Juventus prova il super colpo, Juventus is trying the super, 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 boom, 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 player, and they are trying, really, and then people will tell me, Beppe, it's not possible, stop dreaming, you remember the last time, Cristiano Ronaldo, everyone was saying, it's not possible, Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo came, a year before, two years before, it's not possible, Higuain, Higuain came, it's not possible Vlaovic in the winter Vlaovic was there and Vlaovic was reported by who? By Gazzetta dello Sport and if they are going with a double page guys I tell you 
pay attention, pay attention, those chances are small, it will be really difficult, but why not, why not, don't, eh, don't be, don't be sad, if it doesn't happen, at least Juventus tried, and that's what you have to keep in mind, Juventus is trying for players like Joao Felix, the name was reported, like uh, Mohamed Salah, Juventus is going for top, top, top players, who will arrive, I don't know, but Juventus is trying, no al Inter, no, and uh, Tuto Sport is going with uh, Paolo Dybala again for the second consecutive day with an Inter shirt. And the supporters are saying no, no Dybala. Go wherever you want. You can go wherever you want. We will still back you up, but not at Inter. Please, please, not at Inter. 69.5% of the supporters of Juve, or at least the one that voted on Tuto Sport, said no, please, to Dybala. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Think about Nedved that say no. Think about all the players that say no before the love of Juve. I know Juve they were not 100% correct with you but don't go to Inter uh, let me know guys what about uh, Paolo Dybala to Inter because uh, Gazzetta dello Sport another double page with Dybala Inter Dybala la strada è questa Inter Dybala that's the way that's the way because uh, Inter wants to change their front they want to change their attack Lotaro uh, Dzeko whatever player they really want to, to change and they are saying that uh, with the winning mentality of Dybala it history at Juventus, he can be the right man for them. Also, to the sport with the same words, Rivoluzione dell'attacco dell'Inter, they are changing. Revolution in the attack of Inter, showing again Inter, Inter shirt on Dybala. Guys, I start to be really, really tired of seeing and sick of seeing Paolo Dybala in Inter shirt because uh, it is what it is. What about the renewal? A few words. A lot of people and expert of uh, Juventus were uh, interviewed yesterday about the choice of Juventus, controversial choice. What about the choice that Juventus made was it correct or not and uh, I have to admit that uh, most of them were saying Dybala there were too many doubts some some on the financial side some on the consistency of play some on the physical condition everything that we already spoke in the last days and also the experts are like that uh, they try to put their emotion away and going immediately in that acceptance phase like we spoke yesterday but Dybala has eight maybe nine, maybe ten games to go before leaving Juventus. How will he do it? That was my biggest question mark. Will he be on the bench uh, trying to avoid uh, another injury or will he go at max? Apparently uh, uh, he's angry. Is any he angry? He's sad but he wants to show on the field that Juventus will regret it. I would be really happy to have a really Grinta-esque uh, Dybala that wants to show on the field that uh, he can uh, give the best because that means that if he's doing his best, Juventus will benefit it until the end of the season and we will need it if we want to go maybe for the dream another dream after Salah maybe the dream of the Scudetto Juventus Lyon I told you this evening 6 45 p.m so we start on the uh, Juve, Juve channel at 6 15 be there support me support the women uh, there is a before speaking about the other names of the Mercato there is another big news that will start really soon the financial fair play like we know it will stop our friend from the channel, from Jakarta, Andar Sofian, was saying that UEFA is set to replace the financial fair play rules, which placed limits on losses so the, the thing with the uh, financial uh, fair play was that it was limiting the losses now instead teams in competitions including the champions league will eventually only be allowed to spend up to 70 percent of their income on soccer related activities so all the soccer related activities all the benefits that you have only 70 percent of that will be only at max 70% of your entries will be actually be able to spend on transfers and so on. Is that a good news? Is that a bit bad news? But if you are actually earning a lot of money, that's a good news. If you are small clubs with small entries, that's a bad news. And that's where the Super League idea was not that bad. Because if you remember well, uh, Super League was a project to stop all the, uh, the titans from the international football. If the Premier League... They are winning so many broadcast uh, millions, so many, 10 times more than Serie A. Tell me how on earth it is possible for clubs like Juventus, Inter, Milan, Atalanta and so on to compete for with the big club that will have so many, so many entries regarding to the other ones from Italy, from Bundesliga, Ligue 1 and so on. Really curious to see how it will happen. Super League, the president of uh, uh, Lega Calcio is saying, eh, but at the moment Juventus uh, didn't do anything bad because it's only a project, but if that 
project is reality if Super League is created they will not be able to participate in Serie A really strange word from Gravina we'll have to wait on that I don't know why he's hating it is what it is maybe he should actually focus on growing Serie A instead of thinking about Juventus and now we continue with the last Mercato news boom 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 guys boom 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 I have a lot of things to do Zagnolo stile Dusan and then a picture of Nedved Nedved that said we are looking for people like Vlaovic and Locatelli that did everything to join Juventus we want these Juventini like a Zagnolo that since a kid is a real Juventino and that do everything to come to Juve because they want to play for the logo for the shirt, they want to play for Juventus, we want to go for them, we already spoke so much about uh, Zagnolo, he doesn't renew at the moment with Roma, he can be a real Juventus player, pay attention, Zagnolo is not a replacement for Dybala, Zagnolo is the one that will replace... Eh, Kulusevski, but also Bernardeschi. We'll speak about the renewals of Bernardeschi in a second. Another name yesterday, because we go from Mohamed Salah to Zaniolo, and then we have another name. Berardi. Berardi reportedly reignite their interest in Euro 2020 winner. Pay attention to Berardi. Pay attention. Berardi was already half a Juve player years ago. He never wanted to join Juve because he was mentally not ready, because he's an Inter supporter, because he hates Juve. I don't know what. Eh, apparently, Juventus is a Again, on the player for 30 million player of 27 years that is doing an amazing season this year it's a player i tell you from all the list of players i don't want to what about the uh, daniel uh, berardi let me know in the comment we continue with the last one i told you about bernardeschi bernardeschi can also be a free agent because uh, it will be really difficult for him to renew the Chilio can renew quadrado can renew even perin can renew Bernardeschi a lot of difficulties guys and that's why I tell you Zagnolo can come in for Kulusevski Bernardeschi what about Pogba uh, the chances to see him join in Juventus are still there are still possible but yesterday he was speaking about his depression at Manchester United he talked about the fact that he really wants to win trophies and so on and so on he also spoke about the possibility of Paris Saint-Germain even if until today eh, he was really not really keen to join Paris Saint-Germain yesterday he opened the door saying that uh, it would also be a real pleasure to play with ex-teammates uh, or teammates from the national French team. Pay attention, guys, for the people that love Pogba. I don't know. I don't know about Pogba. I don't know. I will not exclude it 100%, but I don't know. And the last one about our defense before going international team news. Mercato, Bremer, Rudiger, and Koulibaly, one of the three defenders, will join Juventus. Or that will be one of the partners of Day League for next year. Uh, pay attention. And then we finish with Corriere dello Sport. Ossessione mondiale, mondiale. Obsession for the World Cup. That will be actually the first game will be played tomorrow versus Macedonia a lot of uh, uh, players are not in top form there are already some COVID positive um, uh, people from the staff let's see what will happen tomorrow apparently Donnarumma will be in the goal 4-3-3 with Florenzia, Cervi, Bastoni, Emerson really strange defense without Chiellini and without Bonucci Barella, Giorgino, Verratti and then Berardi, Immobile, Insigne no Juventino because Locatelli positive COVID, uh, COVID positive and so on and so on so no Juventino there even De Cilio will be on the bench and maybe he will be the only one that will play that game versus Macedonia let's see anyway Chiellini is smiling is putting the thumbs up and I hope that you, same as Bonucci, are putting a maximum of like, a maximum of thumbs up. Grazie, forza. Juve.